What up you guys, this is Chef Vic right here and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a mint and julep inspired course of Disneyland. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how close this to Disneyland recipe but I try my best to get it close to Disneyland as possible but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and check it out. Alrighty guys, here in another video, and I'm going to show you guys how to make the mint julep. So, I'm going to start off with the mint syrup that is required for this julep. And it will give this nice light um, mint flavor to your julep. So, you start off with roughly about two cups, or cup, one cup and a half, equal parts of it, of water. And then we're going to put that onto the stove and bring it to a boil. Now, gotta keep an eye on this, do not overboil it or it will become caramel. <laughs> you don't want that, guys. You want this to bring boiled enough to dissolve your sugar just like this. As you see it, it should become clear. I mix it up a little bit to really dissolve the sugar for your syrup here. So once it becomes your guys' uh, simple syrup, this would be called simple syrup here. Once it becomes that, then you guys are going to be going to add your mint to your simple syrup. You guys are gonna steep this like a tea. So you guys are gonna turn off the heat, throw your mint into the hot syrup, be careful it's very hot. And you're gonna steep for a good solid, I say 15 to 20 minutes or so to really infuse that flavor of the mint. And then you guys could let this sit overnight or you guys could let this sit um, for that 20 minutes. It depends on how strong the mint flavor you guys want. So to start off with the well, also you can put this in the jar too. <laughs> um, this stuff will keep for a good month, at least a good solid month. But I would just let it steep overnight. After that steep is overnight, it has been done. Uh, strain out the fresh mint out of there, and then just keep the syrup in your fridge and you didn't have mint syrup. So to make the mint julep. It's going to require a limeade and lemonade. Um, so to start off with the lemonade, you're going to need half a cup of lemonade. You know, pour that into your container. I use my measurement pitcher thing here. And then um, you're going to add a, four, a third and a fourth cup of limeade into the lemonade. So once you guys put your guys' lime mint in there, you guys are also going to add your uh, mint infused simple syrup. That requires a three tablespoon of that syrup. Just add it in there. Um, you guys want to sweet it though, you guys guys. Alright guys, so if you guys want to make this more sweeter, more minty, you guys can add more of this mint syrup. Um, I just like adding three tablespoons of it. It gives that perfect balance. My opinion. Then, of course, fill you guys uh, with a cup of ice. You know what I'm saying? Try and get close to that cup they use in Disneyland. <laughs> so, you know, swirl it around, give a good little stir of your little lemonade, limeade mixture. Pour it right into your glass or plastic cup I'm using. And then you guys are going to garnish it with a lemon and a cherry. I put two cherries. <laughs> and then you guys are going to garnish it with a little mint. And there is your mint julep. Nice, refreshing. Just brings you back to that Disneyland and that New Orleans Square over there. It's just awesome. Now, let's do a little adult version. I know this pie not make at Disneyland, but this is kind of my take on it. So we're going to make a whiskey cherry mint julep. So basically the same amount of limeade and lemonade. Uh, and same out um, the mint syrup instead we're going to add uh, one tablespoon of the juice of the cherries and trample the lid on that does not fit <laughs> and then you guys are going to uh, give that good stir and then I'm using a Irish whiskey or you guys can use any kind of whiskey you like 
so I use this one I have on hand. That's the type of what I have. Or you can use rum. Rum probably works way more better, but I just have whiskey. I love whiskey. Um, give the mixture a good stir, and you guys are gonna pour your into your shaker with some ice, and then you guys are gonna add your whiskey. Now the whiskey, uh, how much whiskey? That would be roughly about two ounces of whiskey, or a little more heavy. <laughs> you guys want more or less? Go for it. So once you guys add your whiskey to your shaker, um, you guys are gonna give a good shake. Make sure you shake it very well. Just like that, just shake, 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 shake. <laughs> then once you're done shaking the drink, you're gonna pour it um, in a nice cup, plastic cup. <laughs> Start running out of ice there. I wouldn't put a little more ice in that, but run out. But it's all good. Uh, this is actually pretty good. I love the taste of whiskey. It's actually mellowed it out a lot, so it didn't have that harsh whiskey. But I actually love the taste of whiskey, so. So that's it. Here's your drink. Nice adult beverage. Remember kids, this is for adults. <laughs> so enjoy. I'm not